Hey everyone, this is Manly Badass here and welcome to VHS 1986. A PS1 style game jam horror game from the creator of No Players Online, where you play as a person who's received a bunch of blank tapes that you shouldn't be watching. Moshi Mosh. Hey Matt, listen up. Those tapes I gave you, I need them back. I actually meant to give you a few of my leftover blank tapes. The ones I gave you were not mine to give. The ones. I had been holding them for some Dutch guy. I'll be at the Kmart near your house tomorrow, 10 p.m. Be there. We can tell this is 1986 because we have Kmart. What is that? Unlock. That makes no sense. So we play tapes. I'm really digging the UI already. So let's see these tapes here. I guess only the label ones can be played. This one is MMLA. Just gonna put this tape in. Well, this is really stylistic. Hmm. Nice piano. This one key uh, a little off. Okay. Someone's got a camera collection. And we are now inside an oven, and there is a tomato. A very well-balanced knife on that tomato. Eh, okay. That the law is honored, however, it is informally honored. Uh, there are supposed to be sanctions. However, so it was normal. In, in a lot of offices, you and there's like a little weird part recorded in front of it. It's supposed to be adherence to the law. It is, I think, adhered to largely, but there are a lot of brief cases. That hey, look, it's back. Painting. Nice, nice corner of the room. You are zooming in that corner. Am I about to be jumps? Okay. Oh god. End, end, end. Put that back. This one is... Walk. Hmm. Huh. So far, oh, nope, there it is. March It's just, it's fairly normal. Nothing even creepy about it. Well, now he's running. That's not walking. It's more of a brisk walk. Hmm. 
Uh, this is a horror game, so I'm trying to think. It's gonna be very subtle. Where's that guy coming in? We're lighting on that. What? Tracking. Hey, the symbol. It was on the um, spin spin thing. Why is that car being weird? Day in the city. Follow me, 73. Maybe you have to pause on the symbol. That's why there was like the, you know, the rewind in March 16th, 1986. Like pause, then return, then do the spin thing and select it there. Hey, who's that? The music's a little weird, but nothing really unusual here. I think. Might not notice something. Thanks for the flower, buddy. Camera's getting a little jerk here. Hmm. I didn't notice anything too crazy in that one. So this number three. Weird. Tobacco. So this have to be like a hard symbol. One time it was a hard symbol we saw. Um, the other time it's maybe a loose symbol, like someone holding up what the item is. Well, this is the last Mafia tape. Developed by the Far Jewett Company. One million square feet of commercial space on 20th Street between L and M, and Warner Mechanical Corporation, providing that phone ringing. Contracting and servicing capabilities in the Washington metropolitan area. I'll finish the video first. Phone calls like, hey, don't watch the last video, that's the one that does you in. Digital Equipment Corporation, with its vast family of networked computing systems connecting the front office, the factory floor, the engineering center, and the MIS department. Digital has it now. Up oh, here's home video again. See some of the reflection walking around. Weird. Plane dolls. Reflection dancing in the wind. Nothing hugely unusual yet. Almost serene, if anything. By Dean the things of things like this is you never know, like, if you're missing something. There's, like, something staring at you in the distance. With over 600 
50 offices throughout the United States and abroad. Dean Witters, a member of the Sears Financial Network, and public television stations across the nation. It's on some income, rather than the 27% top rate widely reported. Elsewhere on Capitol Hill, a House subcommittee today held a hearing on a bill that would ban all forms of tobacco advertising. Smoking. Marlboro country is more likely found in a hospital's cancer or cardiac... You know, the first video I had to do of smoking, too. Tobacco ads are among the top five sources... Very specific. Of revenue, ...and half of all outdoor billboards carry tobacco ads. Okay. Hmm. Never mind, can you need now instead? This guy won't stop calling me, so I need them right away. Are you there? Come on, man, help me out. That dude's really starting to freak me out. See you soon. Well, let's see if my theory is correct. Call again. Give me back my tapes. You have two hours. What? Hey, did that guy just call you? Yeah, he just called me. I'm really sorry about that. I don't know how he got your number. He just ratted me out. Give back his tape, so? No! The poster, too, while you're at it. Weird, the poster came with it. Hello? Are you there? He's at your house, man. Oh no. Please get back his tapes. Is every time I unlock something and I like, don't do it right? I beg you. So maybe the time of day in the video is very important. So the flowers in this appear at 536. Maybe each video has one symbol. We can undress. Yeah, 538. Pop that back here. That one was at 10... Ooh. Thinking you miss it. 1047. Tomato knife. Which is that right there in the top left. Oh, I see. Number four. So they all have numbers on them. Now, that's a little more simpler. Number two. Number one. Day in the city. So flowers number one. Crosshair is number two. Um, tomato was number four. This was number three. So, I'm not sure if this works like a safe where it's like right, left, right, left, or if it doesn't really matter. But assuming it is the right way, this would be flower, crosshair. And then the third one, I didn't see any of these other symbols. This one's the most prominent, which is money. Could be for the advertisement revenue. And you know, knife. Yeah, so it did work like a safe. I, I assuming it did anyway. 
Ooh, a secret red tape that somehow sucked out of a poster. That makes perfect sense. No numbers on it. Just red. Huh. May 7th, 1986. PM 6. Won't get to the sign yard. Weird little clown car. 257 March 22nd. Okay, that's a little weird. Hey, what's this? F C P A K N. Hmm. Eleven was eleven PM by the time it ended. Hey, QR code. Yeah, that's a real blink if you miss it. Okay, guys. So we got it's a text code, U T V N Y V ninety Y. Almost like a URL code. Uh, another phone call. I'm so sorry. He said side yards. How do you know that? I'm so, so sorry. Oh, crap. Game just went dark. Yep, it just closed itself out. We're dead. <laughs> so, we have this code. I'm just gonna say that my guess is maybe it's a YouTube channel URL. Because YouTube channels always start with... A U, and essentially some gibberish, and they do have that. They, they sometimes have that kind of upper score underscore aspect, but I could be wrong. Uh, and YouTube URLs are always twenty four numbers, so currently we have one, two, three, six. We have nine, so we have nine out of twenty four. There is other letters. At yeah, that one part with the little skip hop and the hangman thing chalk on the ground. Much of those are in addition to that. So we would need 15 more letters or numbers or even dashes to complete a full channel URL. Here we see body. That does not help me whatsoever. And it's Hangman. So you all know how Hangman goes. You also see ALS, possibly O, or it just could just be ALS. And there is a... This one I cannot tell too easily. But they are underscored, implying they are important. This could be letters, it could be a 2ES or something. Got a zoom in and a hands. So we see this one is like it's either two or e. These are underlines. They underline everything. The O and P do not have underlines. We can see, but that could just also be the underlines. You know, could I sort of be these are the ones you have to use or not? We see them here. No, those aren't underlines. Those are. 
Nope, this is definitely an underline, because there's a tile spacing. You can see like underline under the A over here. The S does not have an underline. And this number here on the right does not have an one. These two... I think that's a two. This O and P... It's definitely a P. I see the line going down. You can see from this angle... There's another hangman? Here is F. This is obviously a Q. There is a C, P, A, K, N. This last one's really vague. And we see another send numbers or letters right there at the bottom. So that's a separate set than these sets. So the letters and numbers I have assembled are in order of a p supposed appearance. Could be a little inverse here and there. It's F, kind of a kitty corner Q, C, P, A, K, N. And then we get a, possibly a, a B, then a G or an A, then Alice, three numbers, letters there. And then we go for, if we go from top to bottom, we have a either a 2 or a Z. I'm leaning towards a 2. Could very well be a Z. And then E, what I think is an E anyway. And then I 5 or an S. I'm thinking it's a 5. Could be S. And then below we see the words almost also spelled. So it's A, L, S, or 5. This one I think is an S, so. And then O and P. That'd be 19 letters or numbers. Combined with our original, that'd probably be too many. So we're looking for 24 numbers, but I think the URLs might be able to go longer. It's hard to tell. No, they're always 24. We currently have nine. Meaning we need to come up with 15 numbers. If we go by highlighted, Let's see. Because only certain ones are highlighted. Well, it's Hangman. I do see the Hangman. And you know what Hangman is, you add a limb for every number that is wrong. So the first set has the head, has the two arms, has the two legs, and then has the body. I'm assuming that's how they're counting it. I don't know if they're counting the neck or the noose. Sometimes people play differently. That's at least five or six wrong, maybe seven. But then the second set has just the head and the neck. I'm like I said, I'm not sure if we counted the neck or not. So that would imply that there is five wrong at the bare minimum in the first set, and maybe only one wrong, maybe two, in the second set. Of course, it may not be a YouTube URL. It could just be a normal URL for something else. I have to think about that. But I, it looks like a YouTube starter in URL. And if we need to get to 24, um, we need to remove at least three letters or numbers. The underlined ones could be the wrong ones, but I see more underlined ones than uh, anything else. So that can't be right. In the second set of letters and numbers, I see that the S, P, and the O do not seem to be underlined. They just have the dividers of the tile. While the weird 5, 2, or whatever it is, and the top numbers up there are underlined. So if we drop the S, O, and P, that would bring us to the correct set, technically. As the first set of numbers are underlined. And while the kind of lined up initial numbers aren't underlined, those could just be correct by nature of them just being there. Now, if it's not YouTube URL, this throws us out, and then we do have to do process of elimination using the hangman, and that will be fairly tricky because we don't have a hard number to work with as easily.
Now, traditionally, Hangman is six guesses. Like I said, I don't know if uh, this is a um, how it's going. And use the correct ones are underlined, not the ones that are not underlined. So that'll be it for VHS 1986 for the time being. Um, I will probably try to put these codes together. And if you're in the comments, you're welcome to try putting the codes together yourself. And if I figure it out, there'll be a follow-up video. But the main game doesn't really seem to have any more content. And I actually poked around in the files. There's no more dialogue or anything hidden in there. So the extra content is going to be outside of the game. And like I said, my suspicion was maybe a YouTube channel. Maybe it's some combination of the letters and things that they're giving us that would make a URL. But brute forcing that with the information we have, it's going to take a little bit of time. And in the off chance it is not a URL uh, for YouTube, then it gets a little more random what it could be. But yeah, pretty aesthetic game. It is just a series of kind of creepypasta kind of tapes and everything. But it has a pretty cool veneer kind of built around it. I'm partially not a huge fan of ARG type things. I like my experiences to kind of be mostly concise within the game. Um, but, you know, some people clearly enjoy that. And this person's other game, I think, had some ARG elements, so they, they have to do some success with the format and doing a pretty good job within that format. Anyway, so thank you all for watching me play VHS 1986. I'll see you guys later, and take it easy.